So, is everyone here already? Yes, Madam President. Sir Jaffer and Noel have been here already. Good. Okay, let's start with the prayer. Let's begin the deliberation with this teacher applicant from New York City. According to our submitted documents and credentials, she is Billy Anderson Smith. She has a bachelor's degree in chemistry, master of science in chemistry, and graduated with Latin honors in New York University. Her educational attainment is amazing. But as you can see her personal documents, she was born on May 2, 1972, which makes her 50 years old right now. How sure are we that she'll be committed in this job, given such age? Well, it all narrows down to her performance. If she can still perform well, then she can still instill her knowledge excellently to her students. I have a question. Yes, you may. In her birth certificate, it was stated there that she is an African-American. Wouldn't that be a problem at all during her classes? I suggest that we should first organize a seminar on inclusivity and diversity so that our students will know that there are different races out there. It is stated here that she went to Columbia University as a college professor for about 10 years and uh, 5 years as a private instructor. That sums up around 15 years of work experience. What are you implying here, Sir Noel? She finished her master's degree when she was still 24 years old, right? According to the info she provided, she never, she never applied for a job during the time that she was taking her master's. Wait a minute. Given that she has 15 years of working experience, and she was 39 years old when she left her job. Knowing that she's 50 years old, what did she do during the past 11 years? My point exactly. How can we hire someone with such questionable ear gaps? I think that's not a problem at all. We should not indulge in her personal life now. I was the one who conducted an interview with her, and she said that she just got recently finished with her treatment. She might have been battling with a serious disease during those years. By the way, second school of chemistry, our school is 85% Filipino, most of which are scholars. Do you think she can handle the culture shock? Well, given her experience, she probably had met different races and ethnicities in Columbia University. So adjusting to this whole new environment would be pretty easy for her, I guess. Yep, good point. Based on the interview as well, she seems enthusiastic, jolly and healthy. So her characteristics are definitely 10 out of 10. It is also stated here that she has no husband and her only child is having a family on their own. So is that a good thing, right? Mm. With that, she can focus on her teaching 100%. We need to decide, is she qualified or not? Totally qualified. Same here. Count me in. She deserves the position. But Miss Secretary, please keep track of her performance in her first two months. Noted, Madam President. So, as you all know, there's an urgent need for janitors and cleaning staff. We announced a hiring for the janitorial services position last week. Madam President, together with me as the secretary, conducted an interview to all the interested applicants. From above 50 applicants, we narrowed it down to the best five. I sent the files to everyone and tasked you to review the information and credentials presented. I've checked it earlier today, Madam President, but how many janitors do we actually need? We just need three for the janitorial services. They'll be tasked in the cafeteria, school grounds, and the comfort rooms. The applicant, Mrs. Leonor Siniza, and the other one, Mr. Sergio Siniza, are they related? Yes, they are married actually. They have 10 years as a janitor. 
working in a private company. The problem is that Mrs. Leonora has serious anger issues every time she sees people throwing garbage right in front of her. That's a major turn off. How about her husband? Does he have any issues too? Nothing at all. He is actually the one who calms down Miss Leonora. So they're like a duo. We cannot hire Mrs. Leonora without her husband, right? My thoughts exactly. I've read that both of them knows basic housekeeping services. The next one, Miss Jillian Cortez. She lives far away from the school unless if she rents an apartment nearby. She'll be having problems attending to her job all the time. In addition, she also has heart problems based on her medical certificate. But based on the interview, she said that she can still handle the job. The fact that she lives far away and has conditions I cannot allow her to do such a tenuous job. Did she just lie about her condition? Sorry, but I personally, I value honesty, so she's out in my list. How about the last two? Mr. Antonio Hontiveros and Ms. Risa Trillanes. As I have checked, both of them are 28 years old, which is a good thing since um, younger people tend to have a better performance. No, I'm sorry. I tend to disagree. We cannot always base everything on age. Experience matters more. Mr. and Mrs. Inessa are a lot more qualified than last two applicants. Wait! Mr. Octaverus had a serious controversial background. According to the information here, he was a former drug addict who just recently got out from the rehab. I do believe that we should give a chance to everyone. Well, compared to Ms. Trillianes, she has a clean background and I guess we can put our 100% trust on her. We should choose the most qualified here. I prefer Ms. Trillianes over Mr. Hontiveros. Same for me too. But if ever, if ever Mrs. Trillianes failed to reach our expectations, then we'll call over Mr. Hontiveros. I totally agree here as well. To sum it up, for the janitorial services, we chose Mr. and Mrs. Siniza and Ms. Trillianes. I'll call them later and inform them that they are accepted. That would be all I guess. Thank you for the time members of the board of directors. We'll be having another meeting at the end of this month. The meeting is adjourned.